Hi, and welcome to the post of our paper, entitled Localized Active Learning of Gaussian Process States-Based Models. Learning models for control is increasingly promising for settings where system complexity is high or prior information is scarce. When using a learned model for control, it is vital that the model yields accurate predictions. Hence, appropriate exploration strategies are required. Many exploration strategies explore the state space by steering the system to regions of high uncertainty, aiming to obtain a globally accurate model. However, this may be unsuited for systems with large or even unbounded state spaces due to time and memory limitations. Furthermore, control tasks typically only require a model that is locally accurate to perform well. Our aim is to exploit this aspect to increase the efficiency of exploration. Our problem setting considers a partially unknown dynamic system with stochastic disturbance as, show, as shown here. As the function f is assumed to be known, our goal is to learn the unknown function g such that it yields accurate predictions on a bounded subset of the state space denoted x ref. x ref may be, for example, the region associated with a particular control task. In order to capture the uncertainty associated with the unknown function g, we assume a probability distribution over g. This is expressed by a Gaussian process, which assigns a Gaussian distribution to any finite number of function evaluations, depending on the collected data. Once we have modeled the uncertainty, we aim to quantify the utility of data points collected in the future. In this work, we measure utility of a data point as the mutual information between a finite discretization of the region of interest, x ref, and the data point. The covariance between points is computed using the Gaussian process model. We now describe the proposed exploration algorithm. At every time step, the point of maximal mutual information with respect to the discretized region of interest, denoted C star, is computed. A model predictive control law then computes the inputs that minimize the weighted distance to C star. A visualization of the proposed algorithm is shown here. We applied the proposed method to different dynamic systems in Monte Carlo simulations. Moreover, we compared our approach to a greedy, entropy-based technique that can be found in different works. Our algorithm consistently yielded more accurate models after a limited number of time, time steps than the entropy-based approach. Furthermore, our method obtained a good local model after a handful of iterations in settings where the state space is unbounded. In such settings, the entropy-based method failed to obtain a good model even after a high number of time steps. Thank you very much for listening, and I look forward to your questions and remarks.